Hello and welcome to Last Tequila Standing. We are here with Julio Maya of Adani Eifa or Adam and Eve Tequila. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining Thank us today. Thank you for having me here. <laughs> So uh, only have been out on the market for three years, but already it's become very successful and it was started to help a, a family friend, um, a friend of a friend. So tell us a little bit about your story and how you got started. Yes, of course. Um, an acquaintance of my partner's um, employee uh, was, uh, owns about 70 acres of agave plants in the state of Jalisco, in uh -huh. the highlands of Jalisco. Uh -huh. And he was frustrated that uh, Agave buyers were taking advantage of him when he was selling because of his poor education and lack of business uh, knowledge. Right. So he approached my partner and invited him in a new venture to, to produce tequila, bulk tequila, and sell it. So originally that was the, the plan. When we do um, some marketing analysis, we found out that uh, the market was saturated at the time, three years ago still being saturated, but uh, we, re we decided to go with uh, a brand instead of going with the bulk tequila, we decided to create our, our brand mm -hmm. and try to sell it uh, in the States and eventually internationally will go. Yeah, well, so Adani Eva, that's such an interesting name. I mean, when I think of Adam and Eve, you think of paradise and you know the Adam and the, the apple and all that kind of stuff, which you have a drink, uh, uh, Adam's apple, but can you tell us how the name was inspired and how you came up with that? Of course. Uh, when we first uh, decided to go with the, our own private uh, brand, we were looking for different names that will relate. Uh, well, we wanted to, to create a statement that our tequila can be drank by men and women alike. Mm -hmm. So we decided to go with a couple's name that uh, was, were popular, of course, and the best name that we came out was Adam and Eve. That will uh, give, you, give us uh, marketing opportunities also mm -hmm. when we go with paradise, creation, scene. So we thought maybe we, with this we're going to be able to, to have a wider spectrum where we can uh, do the promotion and marketing. Of course. When we go uh, to expos or promotional event, we dress our host as Adam and Eve, of course. We, <laughs> Let them wear a naked color unitard oh, with wow. some vine lips on, on the on the costume. Do you wear the unitard? Ever? No, 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 no. I have somebody else to do it. I I, I just take pictures. That's take that's all I do. And and that created uh, you know uh, a lot of emotion in, in people coming yeah. to see the. Some people will come two three hours away because of the naughtiness. You know the. Yeah, of course. Basically. that they wanted to see if they were really naked or not at the time. But that was, <laughs> that was really very e emotional and yeah. that, that helped us out a, a lot to, to promote. That will make our tequila, that people remember the name, a remarkable name, and of course once they, they try our tequila, it becomes unforgettable. Oh yeah, and uh, uh, Dami Eva is so, it's such a popular name both in the Hispanic in culture Sp and exactly. in um, Spanish news. Um, can you describe who, I mean, I don't know if you can see this bottle right here, but it's so amazing. It has, you know, the male and the female figure on both sides, and it has a really great um, picture on the front. Who designed the bottle? Well, we, we have a designer in, in Guadalajara. Everything that we produce is produced in Mexico. The bottle, the cap, the labels, everything. Of course, the tequila. Mm -hmm. Everything is made in Mexico. We gave the the... The, own, the, the guy that makes the, the mold, we gave him the idea of what we want, an idea of the shape. If you see, if you can uh, appreciate, it's a bind leaf. The idea of the bottle, it's a, it's a leaf to resemble, again, paradise, creation. And the label, uh, we use a, a repujado label that it's an embossed um, uh, aluminum uh, or tin uh, label. Uh -huh. uh, that is embossed with the images of Adam and Eve. Oh, that's and the cap, you know, it's also made out of wood. So everything is artisan, you yeah, know. It's handcrafted nice. in Mexico bottle. with a, a lot of pride of, yeah. of people beautiful. in Mexico. So the bottle's beautiful, it's amazing, it's a great presentation. How, how is your tequila different from others? What can you tell us about all of the different elements of your tequilas? Well, we, uh, tequila, 
you know, there are over 110 distilleries in, in Mexico, mm. and there are over 2,000 brands of tequila. When someone tells you what's different uh, from other tequilas, for sure we're going to find tequilas that look alike, that taste alike, mm -hmm. because the process is the same. Our tequila, uh, the Blanco, for example, uh, it's an unaged tequila. The only thing that we do, we let it rest uh, when, because it comes out at 55 percent alcohol. So what we do to dilute it to 40, that it's the requirement here in the States, mm -hmm. uh, we use uh, distilled water and we let it rest for 21 days, oh. the water and the tequila. So the molecules will amalgamate and you won't, uh, when you taste it, it will be an even flavor. Oh, okay. So this one is on age because the 21 days with water is not considered aging and also is not in an oak barrel. The reposado will let it rest between 9 to 12 months in oak, uh, white oak barrel, and the añejo is between 18 to 24 months. Okay, all right. And why did you choose the white oak for the, for the aging? Uh, it's more, more common in, in Mexico, and is the one that uh, we found that gave us the best uh, flavor in the, in the tequila. Okay. And do you consider your product to be a traditional tequila or, I mean, a lot of people when they think of tequila, they're like, oh, I need salt and lime and I really got to exactly. it down. No, I, our tequila is not traditional. Uh, when, you, uh, when you have to drink a tequila and you have to add lime juice, salt, sangrita, or any other added flavors, that means you are not really enjoying uh, the tequila. Right. People have the, the misconception that tequilas should taste uh, bitter, harsh, you know, rough when they are coming down yeah, your yeah. throat. And that is not the case of Adán y Eva tequila. It's a very smooth tequila that it can be uh, drank, you know, slowly, sip it, never shoot it. Mm -hmm. And we recommend, definitely, we try to educate uh, our customers that uh, tequila should be enjoy and sip it. When you have a, a, a product like tequila that has taken between eight to 10 years to be in the making, wow. it's a shame to drink it in three seconds. There are so many flavors, so many aromas that you can find that to shoot it, it's a lack of respect for the tequila. Right. And we are very proud of yeah. what tequila is all about. And and I love tequila, of course, but um, your, your product is also kosher, certified kosher as well. Yes, right? uh, we, our tequila is certified kosher that uh, we participated uh, in several events. Uh, we were at the San Francisco World Spirits Competition. Oh. We won a gold and silver medal. And we also participated in Israel in the Terravino competition that we won also in our three tequilas, gold and silver. Oh, so they do tequila over there too. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> All over the world. Tequila is uh, an international drink now. That's great. That's great. And, um, you know, we've already got to try your, your wonderful margarita. Yes. So people are obviously asking for a mixed drink and whatnot as well. So you've created that and given that to the market. When, when you ask me if our tequila was a traditional tequila, no, we think it's a classic tequila. Mm -hmm. A tequila that can be enjoyed, you know, at home or in a bar without any external agent. No ice, no lime juice, no salt, no sangrita, no nothing. Right, right. But even though we promote people to, to sip our tequila, we found out that a lot of people were mixing our tequilas, that it's 100% premium agave uh, with, with their preferred mixes. So we decided to create these, uh, these drinks that you know, became so popular, especially uh, Adam and uh, Sinful Margarita, I'm sorry. Uh, we have participated in different events in San Diego, where we are based. We have won for three consecutive years Best Beverage Award. Oh, so it's, we are very pleased with the reaction. That's the reason why we are coming out in about a month mm -hmm. with our Sinful Margarita. Perfecto. Tequila Daniela yeah. Sinful Margarita. Okay, so um, you know, what channels of distribution do you, because this is an amazing product, I love it, it's so smooth to drink, it's one of the smoothest tequilas. Um, I tasted, and uh, what, what, where are you distributing it right now? We are distributing in, from San Diego all the way to San Bernardino mm -hmm. uh, in Los Angeles, and we have also a distribu uh, distributor in New Jersey, oh. 
and another one in Arizona. We're selling it in Tijuana, Mexico, that it's so close to the border. Right. And before the end of the year, hopefully we're going to be in, in the resorts in Mexico. So Very we nice. are on, on our way, Def nice. definitely. And this is also affordable as well, correct? Definitely. Yes. Uh, when we decided to go with the tequila, we, we thought that with all the competition that we have, we have to have a product that has reasonable prices so that people can afford uh, the tequila. You don't have to pay outrageous prices for a nice bottle oh, and, yeah. and a tequila that you don't know. With Tequila Danieva, we are confident that not only you are getting a superb tequila, but also you have a very nice bottle. A lot of people collect the bottle oh, after yeah. they are done. Collect they collect it. some others, they go back and get their own bottles and they refill their... With more Absolutely, tequila. yes, Great. definitely. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. It's Absolutely. Been a pleasure having you. And where can we find you online? Of course, uh, you can visit our website, tequiladanieva.com, where you can find more information about our tequilas. You can find recipes for drinks, food, and more information where to buy our tequila. And hopefully you become, as we are, uh, a preferred customer for Tequila Danieva, a taste of paradise.